Hello, I'm Dr. Brand Gibson, and today, or I should say tonight, I'd like to talk to you about coenzyme Q10 or CoQ10, which is a nutrient that occurs naturally in the body um, and is found in many of the foods that we eat. Its main purpose is twofold. It is a powerful antioxidant in the body, uh, and it protects cells from damage and plays an important part in metabolism. So it's an antioxidant that protects cells from damage and it facilitates or helps with metabolism. Um, symptom wise, if you're, if you have a decrease in CoQ10, then your heart will pump less effectively. Your lungs will function less effectively. You'll get more tired when you exercise and you'll have muscle weakness and soreness and so forth. Um, and your cholesterol levels are often affected as well if your CoQ10 is too low. The interesting thing about that is one of the other things that doesn't seem to work as well is the nerves don't work as well because you're not getting the neuroprotective benefits of coenzyme Q10 and you're getting mitochondrial DNA damage, which leads to mitochondrial damage. So many of the studies are being done or that have been done over the many, over many years are testing CoQ10 in diabetes, and they're showing a beneficial effect as far as protecting the nerves from damage, but also speeding up the conduction, especially in motor nerves, for example, but also in sensory nerves, and it will decrease pain because of that. Um, if you add alpha-lipoic acid and CoQ10 together, you get some additional benefits um, where you get a possible improvement, a pretty significant improvement in the functioning of the diabetic nerve. So you get improvement of the functioning of the nerve, protection from damage, and it allows it to work more. So the question is, how is it taken? How do you use coenzyme Q10 in your body? And one of the studies that actually showed beneficial effects actually gave us the exact dosage as well. In this, they did, used 400 milligrams of coenzyme Q10, and they compared it to placebo. Um, and basically, it caused a decrease in symptoms of pain and tingling, and it improved, or in other, in fact, cut in half the tingling and the pain that people were having and it showed improvement of the nerve healing and speed of conduction impulses. So let me restate that. So if you have neuropathy pain and tingling, coenzyme Q10 may be beneficial and can often decrease your pain by as much as half and it can improve the speed so it can actually get the nerve to function more correctly. So if you remember, we talk about all the time, we talk about the uh, different ways that the nerves are going to malfunction where they may be, this, it may be too slow or too weak. This speeds up the speed and it increases the intensity, which will actually cause the nerves to be functioning more like they're supposed to. You get a better functioning of that nerve in that case. So because this is a substance that is supposed to be created in your body, supposed to be done in your body automatically, the question would be, okay, why do we need to supplement? Why are we adding supplement to this? Because as you get older, coenzyme Q10 is reduced. So as you get older, it becomes less and less functional. And because of that, you get more and more aging of the cells, more and more damage of those, the, of those cellular components, including the mitochondria. Um, also, an interesting side note is one of the common... Toxic medications, the statin medications, also reduce coenzyme Q10. So that may be the mechanism of neuropathy caused by statin drugs. This is Dr. Brant Gibson, and I do recommend the addition of coenzyme Q10 both as a neuroprotective and as a neuroreparative type treatment. Coenzyme Q10 as a possible treatment for peripheral neuropathy, especially peripheral neuropathy pain. It should be supplemented at 400 milligrams per day. And usually you'll 
find benefits in about 12 weeks. So it may take a little bit longer than some of the other supplements, but it does show benefits at 12 weeks, according to the studies. This is Dr. Brian Gibson, and this is Neuropathy Nugget Day 